there and welcome back to my channel. My name is Fallon and today I am going to be reviewing a quilt product that you may have seen advertised and been wondering about. So this is Free Fuse and it is a powder that you can sprinkle onto fabrics to fuse them together. I received this in my Jenny's Countdown to Christmas box from the Missouri Star Quilt Company and I'm really excited to try it out and share with you my thoughts. Okay, so we're gonna head over to my pressing area so that I can show you how to use it and hopefully let you know that it works really well because I'm hoping it does. Okay, so here is the quilt top that I'm going to be using this product on today. This is the top that I made from my Open Gate quilt box a few months ago. It is just beautiful, it's a star in the center and kind of a log cabin design around the sides. So it is kind of a smaller wall hanging sided quilt, so I think it's going to be perfect for trying out this product. Okay, so I'm setting the top to the side and I'm just going to be working with the um, backing fabric that I'm going to be using and the batting. So when I am doing smaller projects, I'll often use my batting scraps and um, just piece them together if needed. So you can see that I have a zigzag stitch here um, holding together some of the batting. I feel more comfortable doing it on um, smaller projects because I don't really need to worry about it getting used and washed as much since this will just be a wall hanging. So I did cut the batting a little smaller than the backing so that I don't have to worry so much about uh, gunking up my iron because I don't have any Teflon pressing um, mats like was suggested to use on the packaging. Um, so if you do have something like that, you may want to use it. Um, but what I'm going to do is sprinkle this down along my batting lay my backing on top of it and press it. And then I will um, flip this all over and do the same with the top. So let me sprinkle this on. I'm not sure how much I need to use yet because um, this really is me using it for the first time and I'm hoping I don't get it everywhere. <laughs> I have heard that it is kind of messy. so. This is kind of why I'm doing the method that I'm saying where I, um, you know, I'm putting this down first so I don't need to try to flip anything without it being fused. So I think I got a good amount on there, but we'll see. I'm gonna see, it's kind of hard for me to tell which side is the front of this backing because it is very um, tonal and that it's hard to tell the front and the back. So I'm gonna, I'm going to press it out a little bit. I don't, I know some people use this on a lot bigger projects, but I don't understand how easy it would be. Maybe once you really get used to it. Um, but I'm going to press this and kind of, says to kind of do um, five seconds in areas. So I'm going to try to go a little slow and I do have more that I'll need to fuse on the lower part of the quilt so I will just move that up and move this up on my pressing area and get that as well. Um, I think what I'll do is kind of let this cool down a little bit before I move it because usually that will help these type of things fuse a little bit better. Um, but we'll see how it is before that.
All right, so I'm gonna give this a few seconds to cool, and then I'm going to flip it over and start attaching the um, top of the quilt. up, add a little bit more of the fused powder, and iron the bottom of that. All right, so I am finished fusing the quilt top for the wall hanging, and I actually think it works really well because you can see I'm not even holding it where the quilt top is, and everything is holding really, really nicely. So I actually thought it was really easy to apply the fuse powder. Um, I do have a kind of bigger pressing area, so I think that was really helpful, and this is a smaller project. Um, so I think that made it a little bit easier. I do like it better than the spray for the smaller projects because it's really a lot harder to control where that goes and the smell and everything. Um, so I did like that. I am going to try quilting this and see how it does with my needle. Um, the spray base that I use can gum it up sometimes, but not too bad. I know the instructions for this says it shouldn't gum up your needle, so I'm kind of excited to see how it worked with that. So my first initial thoughts are that I really love this uh, fused powder. I'll probably buy some more of it for a project, depending on how easy it is to quilt. So I'm gonna go quilt this, and then I will let you know my final, final thoughts on it. Okay, so I have the wall hanging, all quilted, and I'm ready to give my final thoughts on the fuse powder. So I think it was pretty good working with it. One thing I liked more than spray basting it was my needle didn't get gummed up at all. Um, so there was that. I did notice that in a few places that I thought was held pretty good as I was quilting, it just wasn't held as, um, it wasn't basted as nicely as I thought it was. I think that it was because I probably didn't get enough heat on it. So what I learned this time was that I probably need to go a little slower and make sure it's fused really well. And what I would probably do is use my Cricut Easy Press to fuse the um, powder because I'll be able to time it really well and it works in a bigger space and I'll be able to move it across um, the fabric and get a lot more heat in a bigger area than using my iron. So I think that's what I'll do next time. I have a probably about half of the fuse uh, powder left. Um, it does seem like I use quite a bit more of that than I do spray based. Um, so I don't know how cost efficient it would be, especially if I try to do a bigger project, but honestly, um, I'll probably stick to smaller projects until I get, to, until I get a little bit better at it. Um, I'm gonna use the rest of it on another project and see what I think about it. As of right now, I think if I use my Easy Press, I think it'll work a lot better and I will probably purchase it again for smaller project because really using the spray based on a smaller project gets pretty messy. Um, I do like spray basting on my larger quilts, but I don't think I'm quite ready yet to use that this on something like that. But a table runner wall hanging 
stuff like that. I think I'll definitely um, enjoy using the fuse powder if I use my easy press and get it really um, adhered. So there you go. There's the fuse powder. Overall, I think I liked it. Um, I'm excited that I was finally able to try it. So let me know what you think if you've tried it. I know some of you let me know that you thought it was really, really messy. Um, I can definitely see that because if you don't get it all fused, I did see some of it fall out of my um, quilt while I was uh, quilting it. So I can definitely see that. All right, you guys, thanks for watching. I hope you're having a wonderful new year so far and I'll see you next time. Bye.